All right, so this video we're going to look at finding the equation of a line and we're going to be given a point and a line that is parallel to the line that we're finding. All right, so let's take a look at this. We have find the equation of the line passing through the point negative 2, 2 and parallel to the line whose equation is 2x minus 3y equals 7. All right, so whenever you're finding the equation of a line, you need two things. You've got to have the slope of the line, and you've got to have a point on the line. Okay, well, you can see we have our point right here, but they don't give us the slope. But what they do tell us is that the line that we're looking for is parallel to this one. So if we need to find the slope of this line because if you remember lines that are parallel have the same slope. So find, so our line is going to have the same slope as this one. So let's take 2x minus 3y equals 7 and we need to find the slope of the line. So hopefully you remember the slope intercept form of a line y equals mx plus b and the m the number in front of x once you solve this thing once you have it solved for y y equals the number in front of x is your slope all right so let's go and solve this for y so i'm going to subtract 2x so i get negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 7 and then I'll divide each term by negative 3 so I get y equals 2 thirds x minus 7 thirds alright so if you look the number in front of x is my slope so my slope m is equal to 2 thirds so now I have everything I need I have my slope and I have my point on my line. All right. So now let's use the point slope formula. Remember that? That's y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. All right. So we have our slope m to plug in here, and we have our x1, y1. There's x1 is negative 2, y1 is 2. So we just plug everything in. All right. So I've got y minus y1, so minus 2, is equal to 2 thirds times x minus negative 2. Well, minus a negative 2, that would be plus 2. Remember, x minus negative 2, the two minuses make the plus. And then we solve this thing for y. All right, so I'm going to distribute the 2 thirds. So I get y minus 2 equals 2 thirds x plus, and then 2 thirds times 2 is 4 thirds. Remember, 2 thirds times 2, well that's the same thing as 2 over 1, multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, that's 4 thirds. And then I'm going to add 2 to both sides, and so that's going to give me y equals 2 thirds x plus 10 thirds. So remember how to add fractions. I've got 4 thirds plus 2. That's 2 over 1. Well, I get a common denominator of 3. Well, that's going to stay at 4. 3 times 1 is 3. So I've got to multiply 3 to the 2, which is 3 times 2 is 6 and then add the numerators over the common denominator. So this is my final answer. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and check out my other videos, and thanks for watching.